Hello, my tribe, and welcome back to Mrs. G's Living. I am Mrs. G. If you like beauty, fashion, fitness, unboxing, luxury hauls, um, affordable hauls, um, a little bit of fitness, then please subscribe and join the tribe. So in today's video, I am going to showcase how to incorporate sneakers, trainers, into your everyday wardrobe, colorful sneakers into your everyday wardrobe. So if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. The sneakers of today that I will be featuring are my Adidas RS X sneakers. Now you can possibly find these sneakers, these are a few years old, um, on eBay. And so these are the sneakers that I'm going to be featuring because I love the whole color block combination and it's not the typical white sneakers. And on this channel, on Mrs. G's channel, Mrs. G is not the traditional fashionista. So the first way you can actually incorporate sneakers is by, and I see men do this all the time, I don't see women um, do it as often, but by wearing it with a suit. Seeing suit, you can definitely wear sneakers with a matching suit. I tend to, I would wear this to work or to a function um, outside of work. And I feel like the, co the um, color blocking of these sneakers just add an element of sophistication, a little bit of chic, but also a little bit of street as well. And so I often see men do it. I don't see women do it as much, but I'm here to tell you, being a woman, that you can actually incorporate sneakers when you are wearing your traditional suits, as well as a playful suit. I feel like this blue and white suit that I got from The Limited, I paired it with a V-neck blouse, not a button down shirt, like a V-neck blouse. And I feel like it is just, um, and I also paired it with, I believe, my red um, Sophia bag. And it is just a playful outfit, but I still feel like it is professional where I can go into a meeting and still look presentable. Or if I need to go to lunch with my friends, I'm still dressed for the appropriate occasion. So the next outfit that I would incorporate these sneakers with, and I and I said sneakers to me are versatile, depending on the type of sneaker. It can, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it to the gym, you can wear it to work, you can wear it to grocery shopping. I feel like sneakers are versatile, especially nowadays. Before it was somewhat of a taboo to kind of wear sneakers with dress clothes, but now I feel like people are a little bit more flexible, especially after the pandemic. People want to be more relaxed, more comfortable, and what better way to be more relaxed and more comfortable than by wearing shoes. So the next way you can incorporate shoes is by wearing a blazer. I love blazers. Um, this blazer happened to be from Nostrum Rack. I paired it with the pencil skirt, which I just talked about earlier. And I feel like while it is professional in its attire, that the sneaker adds an element of edge to the whole outfit. Now I also paired it with a bag and I still feel like this is this can go from a professional setting to just the traditional outing with friends especially because the the jacket is very graphic it has if you um look closer it has like um it has numbers it has letters it has a graphic detail to it so of course you can always you know be playful with kind of blazers like that you can also be playful with just traditional blazers as well but i feel like the blazer incorporated with the sneakers just adds a little bit of edge to the outfit so next um i would definitely incorporate blouses um this particular uh tie blouse is actually from new york and company so what i typically do is i tend to um draw the colors from like an outfit and match it make sure that my sneakers tend to have similar colors to it so this particular shirt from or blouse from new york and company it has the blue it has the black and it has the gold and my um a white pencil skirt or cream pencil skirt a rib skirt and i feel like you just add a bag to it a classic bag to it and it can be worn this outfit can be worn 
any time at any event I feel like except for you may not know I feel like depending on the type of wedding because people are now having more casual affairs this can also be worn to a wedding depending on the person's wedding and if they don't have specific requirements for you to wear but yeah this outfit this is one way you can incorporate sneakers into an outfit by wearing a blouse by wearing a chic pencil skirt and having the um, sneakers um, pull from the colors within your overall outfit so the next outfit that I incorporated with is that if you're one of those people who find it you know challenging to kind of match shirts and blouses with pencil skirts or pants or suits because there are some people out there that you know fashion is not their thing or you know they just throw on whatever and they need some guidance so for those people i say you can never go wrong with a cotton dress and um this particular dress i got from the gap now i call this like a cotton sailor dress where it has like multiple strips of color um, I love buying these dresses from The Gap in multiple colors because there are days where I don't feel like getting a blouse, getting a shirt, you know, I feel like just running out the door and with these um, dresses, it just makes it so effortless to run out the door and put on a pair of sneakers with it it's like if you're not the type of person that likes to mix and match and you just want a simplicity within your fashion then by all means buy a dress in particular a dress from gap i love gaps dresses i feel like they are one of the brands that still make quality pieces um, this dress, I have it in white and black, so I have it in multiple colors because there are some days where I need to go to the office, but there are some days after work, I'm going to hang out with my friends, brunch, drinks, whatever. These dresses come in handy and it just goes so well with a sneaker, a colorful sneaker. So definitely a dress. Next, I would suggest definitely and it's because i have a love relationship a kimono or a um cardigan i feel like with kimonos and cardigans pairing it with sneakers are your best friend meaning that with kimonos and cardigans you can wear that to run errands you can wear that in um to go to events you can wear that to go to work and you can definitely put a pop of sneaker or a type of sneaker to go along with it it just so happened that this kimono or cardigan that i just bought from target it's a part of the lego cardigan and as soon as i saw it i thought of my my sneakers and that the colors from the cardigan kind of blended well with my sneakers and i definitely have had to have it as well as this other kimono that i purchased from online and i will actually link the influence well link the person who actually um um, I bought it from her boutique, so I would link that as well. And I just love how it has all of the colors of the rainbow in it. And my sneakers are pulling from those colors. So when you want to incorporate sneakers, sneakers, as I said, can be incorporated in anything. You can wear sneakers with a dress gown if you want to. Many a times you will see weddings nowadays with the, the bride, um, the maid of honors, the brides are in sneakers men are in sneakers because nowadays people are trying to be comfortable especially in light of the last two and a half years what we've been going through everybody wants to be comfortable but everybody also wants to be fashionable and this is where i feel like sneakers has um has been brought to the forefront because sneakers are the most to me the most comfortable footwear that anyone can wear so wearing it with a cardigan and then of course you have to sneakers go hand in hand with jeans like if you are just trying to be casual for the day some jeans a t-shirt and some sneakers are a must-have now I have on this navy blue white and red kind of a sailor shirt from the limited and I actually paired it with these um, dad jeans that I bought from Nostrum rack 
not from Nordstrom Rack, actually from Nordstrom. And I put my sneakers on, the um, jeans are cuffed. I feel like this is just a well put together, classic kind of chic look that you can wear to just go, me, go to the bodega or something like that. So yeah, definitely jeans are definitely a go-to when having, you know, wearing sneakers. They are hand in hand with sneakers, I feel like. And I feel like with sneakers, jeans can be dressed up and down depending on the type of sneakers. So typically at work on Fridays, we have casual Fridays. I tend to, when it comes to jeans, I will wear like a darker color jean with some sneakers and still look professional and pull together. Um, so jeans to me are, you know, um, synonymous with sneakers. So you could definitely wear them together this i'm wearing this shirt now so definitely a great blouse of course if you know and watch my channel faux leather can go with sneakers like you can wear faux leather and sneakers it's hand in hand like sneakers i feel like as i state as stated before are versatile in whatever outfit you are wearing depending on what you are what the occasion you're trying to wear it for but last but not least, of course, I had to come here and represent where I'm from. So sweatshirts, sweatshirts, um, I love, besides pencil skirts, I love pencil ankle pants. I feel like pencil ankle pants, and it depends, you have to make sure you get the right fit because sometimes pencil ankle pants or ankle um, pants can look like high waters, which to me, you know, to me may may not be the greatest for some people. I know it's not great for me because I'm a tall person. Like you have to be careful with the ankle pants because for me, they can kind of look like capris. But sneakers and sweaters and pants and joggers are definitely can go hand in hand. Um, I feel like sneakers, you know, you can have a basic jogger suit. You can have a, um, a sweater shirt with a graphic print and the sneakers just brings everything together. I feel like sneakers can either, they're versatile, but they're edgy, they're chic, they can be sophisticated. And especially now, as I said before, people are trying to be comfortable. So don't be afraid to incorporate sneakers in your everyday life. I know most of us are going back to, um, they're trying to go back to the norm um whereas we're in the office um more often than we were in the last two years but you can be comfortable in an office setting you can be comfortable just going you know about your everyday life by incorporating sneakers into your overall outfit so don't be afraid to buy some sneakers because guarantee they are going to be comfortable but if you buy sneakers that a little bit more edgy, they can definitely elevate an outfit. So if you like videos like this, I'm gonna have more styling videos. Um, right now I'm on a buying freeze for January, um, but later on I'm gonna have some more unboxing videos. I'm definitely gonna have more fitness videos because my, you know, I'm Aries, Aries season, and I really need to get back in to the gym because the quarantine weight is just not, the weight is waiting. So I can't, I have to move along. I don't like these extra pounds. So if you like videos like this, please like, subscribe, join the tribe. This is Mrs. G from Mrs. G's Living, and we are out. Bye.